Asphalt slurry must be warmed to efficiently pump through an asphalt plant operation. Many pieces make up the network to process quality asphalt, but a high-quality hot oil heater is at the center of that system. Hot oil flows through the serpentine coil and the attached economizer section for maximum efficiency. The serpentine coil offers more even heat distribution versus the basic helical coil heater. In addition, the serpentine coil offers higher operating temperatures and lower flow rates, which help reduce operating costs. Often, through choice or regulation, plant managers request low NOx options. Through flue gas recirculation, our thermal fluid heaters can reduce emissions down to nine parts per million. Hot oil then continues its flow through a system of pipes and out to the rest of the plant. In order to keep the asphalt slurry pliable, the hot oil flows through the tank heating coils in a serpentine fashion. Tank coils are often designed in a star layout for even heat distribution. Depending on process conditions, we may recommend bare or helically wound tank coils made of either carbon or 316L stainless steel. When it's time for the asphalt slurry to be pumped from the tank, it may need an extra boost of heat. A suction heater can be bolted to the side of a tank through a manway. The hot oil flows through the tube side of the suction heater as the asphalt is pumped through the shell side. As the asphalt slurry makes its way to be pumped out for transport, the long travel may reduce its temperature. On its last pass, the asphalt will pass through the shell side of the inline shell and tube heat exchanger while the hot oil passes through the bundle. The asphalt is now ready for pumping and transport. On the other side of the plant, rail cars are coming in with fresh asphalt slurry. It's imperative to keep the asphalt warm so it can be pumped from the rail cars to the storage tanks. A steam generator is often connected to the rail cars through a series of piping. Hot oil is pumped from the hot oil heater through the bundle of the steam generator. As water in the steam generator comes in contact with the hot bundle, steam is produced. The steam is then transported to the rail cars, keeping the asphalt pliable and ready for pumping. Ready to upgrade or expand? Let's talk. Visit enterquip.com for more information.